today I'm going to be making sourdough French bread. The recipe I'm going to be using came out of the Sunset Cookbook of Breads in their section on sourdough. There are two methods you can use, the short method or the long method. Today I'm going to be using the short method. First, I started out with one package of active dry yeast. This is the equivalent to about two and a quarter teaspoons of yeast. To that, I'm going to add one and a half cups of warm water. I'm just going to stir that in to make sure that somewhat dissolves. Yeast takes time to activate and it, the recipe doesn't say anything about waiting, so I'm just going to make sure everything is um, all wet, just like that. I'm going to leave a few lumps in there. I don't think that's going to matter. To that, I'm going to add one cup of my sourdough starter. And in this bowl, I have four cups of regular all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of sugar, and two teaspoons of salt. The flour is um, actually a wheat flour. Um, it's not bleached, but this is a bag that I had just gotten from Hillcrest Foods, which is a local um, distributor bulk food store here. Um, so I was kind of surprised when it came out white, but it does, the bag says it was um, whole wheat flour. So that's what I'm using, uh, although it looks just like regular white flour. And it says here, stir vigorously for three minutes with a wooden spoon. So I'm going to go ahead and stir this up for three minutes. So here we have it. I've mixed this vigorously for three minutes. Um, I will tell you, my arm got very tired after just a minute and a half of doing This is a very stiff dough, as you can see. Uh, it was very challenging to mix for three minutes, but that's what the recipe said. So now, um, the recipe says to turn into a large grease bowl and cover with a towel and let it rise in a warm place until double in bulk, which is one and a half to two hours. So here I have my bowl. I've already greased it. I'm going to put my dough in here. I've never made this recipe before, so I can't tell you if this is how the dough is supposed to look. Um, I followed the recipe exactly. So it's kind of an experiment to see how this is going to come out. Okay, so there we have it. That's in a grease bowl. I'm going to go ahead and cover this for one and a half to two hours. It has been two hours, and as you can see, my dough has over doubled the amount that um, what we originally started with. So the recipe says to add to this one cup of um, flour mixed in with um, a half a teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm going to try to add this in. I'm not sure how well this is actually going to work because this dough was really hard to mix earlier. So I'm going to try to mix this in. It smells wonderful. I can't wait to start baking this. See if I can not make a mess here in my kitchen. Okay, well I'm going to I'm going to work this in for a little bit and I'll be right back. Here the dough has been mixed with the flour and baking soda. It took about another three minutes to mix. Um, I did end up mixing the last little bit in by hand. It just was too stiff to work with a spoon. So it, you can tell it's a pretty, um, it's still a little bit sticky. So the recipe now says to knead it onto a well floured board for at least eight minutes or until satiny and no longer absorbs any more flour. So I'm just going to put my flour out here and knead this for approximately eight minutes or until um, it won't absorb any more flour. I finished kneading my bread and it took closer to about 12 minutes for it to get to a point where it um, wouldn't absorb a whole lot more flour. It's, it's still a little sticky as you can see. It just stuck to my hands there. Um, but it, it's it's close enough. I'm happy with it how it is. So the next, sp um, next part is to shape the loaves either in two um, skinny oblong loaves or one a large round loaf. So I'm going to go ahead and um, 
make two long skinny loaves with this one with this one batch of dough. And I'm just going to split this in half. If you really want to get precise, you can get out your kitchen scale. Um, I really don't want to do that right now. I'm just going to eyeball it and just kind of pulling the dough in towards the center. There you can see where it's creased. Just kind of pulling it and depends on how long and skinny you want it. And there you have it. Just like that, I have one loaf done. I've shaped my two loaves and now I'm going to place them on a greased cookie sheet where they are to rise until double about another hour and a half to two hours. So just like that. Put a cover over them and I'm going to let them sit. My bread has risen just a little over two hours and now it's, I'm going to get ready to bake it. I'm going to brush the crust here with just plain water. This will help give it a nice crunchy um, texture. If you'd like, you could do brush this with egg white, milk, um, or oil for a softer crust. I'm just going to stick with water. Okay, that looks good to me. And now on each loaf I'm going to make three diagonal cuts, um, approximately a half inch deep with a sharp knife. Okay, and it looks like it's falling a little bit, but we'll see what happens in the oven and see if this perks up at all. My bread is done and I baked it in a 400 degree oven for approximately 45 to 50 minutes. You want it, want it to get this nice golden, um, golden brown color to it before pulling it out. It also should have a hollow sound to it and that can also help you tell when it's done. Um, so there you have it. How to make sourdough French bread. Please visit my site parsnipsandparsimony.com for more sourdough recipes and tips. Thanks for watching.